This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV. We're inside Glow here in Blue Water uh, for the weigh-in for James DeGale and Dyer Davis. Fighting on the build tomorrow. He's back, Lenny Dawes. What's happening, Lenny? Yeah, look, really looking forward to it, mate. I can't wait to get out there and show everyone what I can do. Yeah, I haven't really interviewed you. Have I interviewed you ever? I think once. You once. Have. Once, yeah. Because James has got some man love for you, Lenny. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. James Hill has got a lot of man love for you, and he, he kind of keeps him. You know, no, no, Lenny's keeps mine. Me to himself, yeah. Lenny's mine. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. He must have got bored of you today, so he's got a pass the buck no, to me. Fair enough. Yeah, no, let's, let's do it then. Yeah. You got Tony Pace tomorrow night. Yeah. So is this a stepping back in sort of fight after after the whole I just ro need the Rocco get, thing? Yeah, I, I, I just need to get out there, keep active, get some rounds under my belt, um, and look at something bigger after. But I'm not looking at a, an easy fight at all. You know what I mean? I know he's get, this kid's going to come and have a good go. Um, I'm a big target for him, so you know he's going to try and try and take me. You know what I mean? So I'm going to be on form, sharp. Training's gone spot on, so I'm looking just to get in there and be relaxed and, and put a show on. I mean, we don't need to go on about what's happened before in your last fight. You know, we've been through the, them issues, but that's all over now. So just looking to move forward. That's it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's an experience, as you say, just what I've been through. Um, but yeah, I can. I'm going to use that to help me push on to bigger and better things. Mm. One on Darren Hamilton? Definitely, yeah. It's, it's a fight that we, you know, I'd love to make it happen, you know, because he's on his last defence. It's my last defence of the belt, so whoever wins it will claim it. But we've just got to see what comes around the corner, what he's going to go after, I don't know. And if anything comes available, any fighter's going to take it. So I've just got to see what happens, get this fight out of the way first. Darren Hamilton kind of surprised people when he won the British title against Ashley Fearfane because I think he was going into that fight as a bit of an underdog. But he's done well, hasn't he? He's, he's kept hold of it. He probably hasn't fought as often as he probably wanted. He had a defence against Steve Williams, didn't he? Yeah. But uh, would you rate him as a fighter? He's, no, he's a good fight. He's, he's, you know, his style is, is different um, and it's working for him, you know. So, yeah, he's doing what he's doing. He's getting the wins. Um, so yeah, I don't know what direction he's going in, whether he wants to claim the belt outright. We'll have to have to wait and see. But yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm looking at this Tony Pace first. Before I start looking sports, elsewhere. How many rounds are you doing tomorrow? Uh, six rounds. Six, 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 six yeah. yeah. Well, listen, like I said, we could see you get a crack at Darren Hammer. And like I said, get through Tony Pace if that's what it is to be and uh, try and push on again. That's right, yeah, as you say, the main, the main thing is being busy. Um, and as you say, Mick's got me out on this show, keep me busy, six, six hard rounds in front of me, so I'm, I'm prepared, prepared by all means to do whatever it takes. I'm assuming this will be your last fight this year? Should be, yeah. 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 And then we'll be looking at bigger things early early New Year. As you say, Darren Hamilton or whoever whatever else is out there we can get hold of. He's right off put in that American uh, Tommy, his name is the. Hello, welcome <laughs> to the official Wayne. Yeah. James, do you know what? He wanted to do that, that ring announcing stuff, didn't he, James? <laughs> I've done it a few times. He's done it a few times. James ain't good enough. <laughs> Stick to the interviews. I think that's what his advice was. You've done a show, didn't you, where you was doing the, the ring announcing? Did, yes. Yeah. They compared him to uh, Buffer. <laughs> Buffet, wouldn't he it, James? He does try, James. He does try and have a go, but he's better behind the camera. <laughs> I think so. I think so. All right, well, Lenny, listen, thank you very much for talking thank to IFL TV. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, listen, I'll, I didn't know I was allowed to interview you. James, 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 is, boy. James has got you as a screensaver on his phone. <laughs> no. So, yeah, yes. Yeah, Get your iPhone out, James. I know he loves me because he trained with me, but that's, that's, that's as far as it goes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even going to go into what he thinks about Burbage. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right, this is Coogan Cassis with Lenny Dawes here at Blue Water, uh, glowing Kent uh, for IFL TV. Thank you very much.